Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in 3D Code. Well, if you've been following along on my channel, you've seen uh, quite a few basic 3D Code videos and it's time to put the, uh, this knowledge to use, right? So I showed you several things about symmetry, cutoff tool, uh, how to uh, create and scale objects, that kind of thing. So let's start and make something simple, kind of a bracket type deal, bracket or handle, okay? So we're gonna go to the voxel sculpting room and I need to start with a base shape for whatever I wanna create. So let's grab a uh, polygon uh, square or cube, yeah? Okay, now what I wanna do is I wanna make it a little bit flat like so, maybe something like this. And you can see that I'm in or orthographic mode, right? If I go and click on this little cube up here, this is perspective mode, this is orthographic mode. Now you want to make sure you're in orthographic mode. Otherwise, if you make cuts and so on, it will look weird. So that's what we want to have. We're going to click on apply and I need to give this some resolution. So I'm going to hit the space bar go to res plus down here. We're uh, still very low. So do that again, do that again. And do that again. We're at 1.5 million. And you can see over here, volume 127 is 16x, right? Okay, let me uh, move this around like so. And this is the shape we're gonna start to work with, right? Okay, so what do we do? We're gonna go and look for our cutoff tool. Now the cutoff tool is, uh, where is it? It's up here under adjust. We're gonna click on the cutoff tool. Our proxy shape will be gone, which is exactly what we want, right? And from here, we're gonna to start to uh, shape things, okay? Now, first of all, I got rounded corners on my cube. That's something I don't necessarily want, right? So I'm just gonna take this with my cutoff tool and get rid of it. And up here in this menu, I got the second square selected. You can hit E to pull up this menu, but just so you know, right? Do the same here. Let's uh, check if we need to do more trimming. And uh, I would say we do. It's all good. It's all practice, right? So now we have something that is a very much square. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to get the shape of uh, something that looks a little bit like a bracket in here, right? So I'm going to take this tool and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to do something like this and cut that out, right? Then I'm gonna go in here, and on purpose, I'm gonna make this a little bit lopsided, right? How would you adjust that? You hold down the space bar until you have basically the same thickness of whatever you're trying to cut out. This looks about right. Let's get down here a bit. Looks right to me, okay? Now let's say that you are not sure, okay? You hit Control Z, you go back, and I'll go back a bit more, there you go. And oops, that's one too many. We'll just uh, get rid of this, that's fine. What you can do instead is use the symmetry tool, right? So you hit S on the keyboard for symmetry, and you want that symmetry right there. So I got this cube going on here, I'm gonna move this to about here, and what you will see is it will do that top and bottom. There you have it, right? That's what symmetry does for you. Now, I want a cut in here as well, okay? So I'm gonna go in here and grab something like this, and I can over drag a little bit, like so, because it's uh, symmetry, so there you go, and it will cut that all the way out. So now if we have a look, we've got something like this going on, okay? Now, what's next? Uh, let's say I want some drill holes in here, right? So I'm gonna align this and I want uh, a hole in each corner so I can mount this to a wall, right? Now I couldn't try to create a hole and then match the size and position and all that. That's of course nonsense. I am of course gonna use my symmetry tool, right? Hit the S key once again, 
and we're going to use the X and the Y axes here. We're going to go up here. We're going to grab a circle instead, right? We're going to go into one of the corners and we're going to drag out a little sphere. Now that's not in the correct position. So I'm going to hit the space bar and move it down to, let's say something like this, let it go. And I got perfectly symmetrical holes all the way around, right? Cool. Alrighty, now what else? Let's say I want to have a, uh, an opening in this middle section here. I don't know why, just because I want to, okay? Now, what I'll do is I'll grab this guy again, but in this case, I'll go in and I'll add an er edge radius. Let's put something in here like 10 or so, right? I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start somewhere around here and pull it to the right. And keep in mind that we got symmetry selected two times over, right? This looks about right. I got a rounded edge, as you can see, and it will create that opening both ways. So it looks something like this right now. And if I now turn off my orthographic mode into simply perspective mode, right? and hit S to turn off these planes, then this is the object we just created. Pretty neat, right? So yeah, we're getting to the point where we can actually make things and that is uh, awesome, I think. Anyway, if you have uh, requests for things you want me to sculpt, and keep in mind, it has to be beginner level because that's what these are aimed towards. But if you have any suggestions for objects like, uh, I don't know, uh, tubing or, or uh, straps or brackets or whatever, right? Anyway, so that's it for me. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.